Always exciting when you get a box from Amazon and I think there's something in there that I was going to use. Mm, Atkins milkshakes. Because I'm putting on a bit of weight. What's that? Ah, open that in a second. There we go, look at this. Ah, here we go. Universal head mount. So I could do some point of view. Aha, there we go. Digital tread depth gauge. Let's talk tyre wear. So I've got my little device today to measure the tread depth of the tyres. And the reason I want to do that is because I'm going on a uh, another track day on Sunday. And in my head, I feel like after this track day, which is going to be the third track day I go to with this car in five months. And in my head, I feel like after this track day, I need to change tyres. But I haven't actually got any... Um, theory behind that just that i think that after three track days i should have used up the tires and i was wondering i was curious because obviously this being a uh, four-wheel drive car i wondered how the tire wear was going front to rear i have a tendency on roundabouts for example to always do a bit of oversteer try and push the back out so the back end is often sliding around so i thought it'd be interesting to see how much tire wear is at the back compared to the front then we can repeat that test after my track day on Sunday. First thing we need to do is zero this on a level surface. So I'll just do that on my very flat stomach. <laughs> just check. We can do that on here which is nice and level. Right so I'll zero that. So let's check the front tyre, see what the tread depth is on this front tyre. Right taking that first groove there we've got 4.82 millimetres. Let's try the other one. 5.25 there, 5.2, 5.16 there. So anywhere, the minimum there really then is, as it says, 4.58. So about four and a half millimeters at the front. Let's try it at the back. Right, let's check the rear one. Let's have a look. 6.62. Well, that's definitely more front tire wear than rear. 7.12 in that groove. And let's try that last one there. 6.38. So there's an extra millimeter really of wear at the front. So the wears are, <laughs> The wears, the front are definitely wearing faster than the rears, which I'm a little bit surprised at because I do tend to swing the back out as much as possible on every single roundabout and, and curve I go around. So, um, and, and the car doesn't feel like it understeers. It does feel like it's always just got traction around every corner. So, uh, but there you go. Okay, be interesting to see what happens after my track day. I've definitely got enough tread, I think, for the track day. So hopefully I won't use it all up. Otherwise I'll be buying some new tyres next week. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you like it. Got some more updates coming, so happy to share those with you if you're interested.